Third shot for Esteban Toledo at 14. My caddy told me just get it high and let it come down like a butterfly with a sore feet. And he was just kind of joking around. Chipping up the slope and then back down. I hit the shot right on my target and just an amazing shot he went in. So I celebrate, kind of went under my knees and kind of joking around with the fans. But uh, that was a pretty awesome shot. Paul Goidos getting set to play his third shot at the par four ninth. I hit it and it got a pretty good bounce the first bounce. I started rolling toward the hole. I thought, well, cool, you know, I'm going to have a chance to make par. And then it started rolling a little closer to the hole. And I thought, oh my God, and it went in. You got to be kidding me. So that moves Paul Goidos now into a share of the lead at 10 under par with Jose Caceres. The 14th, second shot for Jeff Maggard. Starting to get things going right now. He has hit a couple of quality shots. Nice drive here at 14. Oh, and a pretty good second shot here at 14 as well. And now he's made an eagle. That could get things turned around. That's incredible. It was worth the wait. John Cook, his second shot. Middle of the fairway. Front right hole location, as you see. Well, hello. <laughs> I was just going to say, hello. Cookie is really swinging nice. That one <laughs> looks really good. You know, if you're missing putts, that's a great way to get back in the game right there. Seventeen. Rocco Mediate found the bunker on this par three, his second shot. Not a lot of green to work with, but lovely. Didn't need much green to work with. What a shot. What a bounce back. Maggert, his second to five. Always a good shot maker. How about that one? How about, <laughs> that's the kind of shot you're looking for. Beautiful shot. The Eagle gets him to five under par. I was kind of struggling that week, so that was kind of a good little uh, pick me up there. At the 16th, Rod Spittle playing his second. We had it in good uh, good position here. We knew the pin was in the back right corner, so I hit four wood down there. We had right about 70 yards. He's trying to take it low and chase it back. Oh, oh and he's holding. What a great play. It's a good shot anyway, but now in the hole. And, you know, pretty cool when it all works out. Jerry Smith looking at his third. Pretty good lie there. Oh, it's absolutely perfect for the type of shot he wants to play. It sits on the upslope. Oh, oh, make it. Woo. Well, why not just go ahead and knock it in? What a shot. He eagles the 16th for the second consecutive day. I had a perfect yardage for my seven iron, and I hit a really good shot. I flushed it. Oh, it's in the hole. Joe Durant with a hole in one. Well, how about that? Joe Durant, the first hole in one this week. We're at the Bass Pro Shop Legends of Golf, and they've just widened their lead. You never know it's going to go in the hole, but uh, I knew it was going to be a good shot, and the timing couldn't have been better. I like his angle from the right hand side, so he's looking just to the right of the hole, trying to work it back gently to the left, staring it down. And that's a beautiful shot. He's got it in there. He might have two. Wow! Hello. Bart Bryant with a double eagle at 18. 